25 beginner tips I wish I knew before weathering wave. Don't spend your resources on every character. Spending resources on so many characters will spread your resources too thin. That will hinder your account significantly and leave you at a stalemate with time. Speaking of time, make sure you spend your wave blades. Keeping on spending your wave plates will reduce the amount of XP you can get on a daily basis. Spending on wave plates wisely is really important too, which brings me to my next point. Spend your wave plate wisely. Each week, you get to beat the weekly boss three times. You need to do these to advance your character talents, so make sure you do this so you're not weeks behind everybody else. Not to mention, you also need to use these on your bosses so you can ascend your character. Summon on the correct banners and make sure you're spending the correct currencies in the correct places. So your premium currency, which is your asteroid, should go to the limited character banner or the limited weapon banner. The others you can pretty much grind over time so you can get the pulls that way. Choose your 5 star selector after all your pulls. If you do this, you can get to properly create a team better suited for you. Echo farm. You can farm echo all, all throughout the you know the duration of the 24 hours and after that you can go for echo farming echoes reset every 24 hours so the best thing you can do is farm as many echoes as you can when playing the game especially bosses you can farm echo bosses that give you the best echoes at least 50 times daily so make sure you do them to get the best echoes for you again 15 times daily that's a pretty good amount so you can get the echoes you want speaking of echoes don't waste your echo tuning resources anything below four star echoes hell even five star echoes it's almost never worth it as four star echoes are easy to unlock after level you know bank i think 10 or data bank level 10 which is pretty easy to get and that's when you should be okay with using a little bit not all of them again speaking of echoes collect as many as possible the more echoes you get the more level your data bank making it easier and faster for you to finally unlock the five star drops for echoes which is a must for strong characters again when you're doing this and you're leveling your echoes wait use them very sparingly the three star echoes you're gonna have your own different tunings four star echoes are gonna have different tunings five star are gonna have different tunings but you have only a set limited amount use them very wisely the more you collect echoes the higher your data bank levels more stamina you can receive and you can use which is really important for the, everything in the game really don't waste your shell credit on echoes you don't need this goes without the previous tuning thing or this goes with the previous tuning thing you need every piece of shell credit to fully level your characters as you progress through the game so make sure you don't you know just spend it all on everything echoes have different classes want to collect the strongest kind of echoes called elite enemies these usually cost more to put into your actual into your actual characters but they're usually worth accession materials many early game accession materials can be bought from the shop and i definitely recommend you doing that especially for the flower it'll save you time and save you wave plates for the materials which should be spent wisely on bosses but if time is not an issue Instead of spending on the actual, you know, materials that you can get, I'm speaking specifically for the flowers, to go ahead and just collect those in the world. Otherwise, materials for ascension that aren't flowers can easily be bought in the shop and is usually more worth it because spending wave plates on these isn't the most effective way early game. Wave plates early game should be spent on bosses. This will allow you to get to level 50 faster, level 60, and will give you tons of experience for beating them while receiving those echoes. Speaking of wave plates, please don't spend your crystal solvents, the golden and glowy thing, until your max world level, which is usually around union level 30, I think, or later. These crystal solvents are hard to come by, and they refresh your wave plates, which should only be used once you collect more. And better materials collect everything you see in the world it will all come in handy but you don't have to go out of here to collect some of them unless it is for your character that you're trying to level so yeah anything you see collect make sure you do all your dailies this will give you a ton of experience and give your asteroids you know give you asteroids and resource rewards when building a character the most important thing to build is level and weapon 
than talent. Trade in your wood textured shards that you collect from, you know, beating some enemies, whatever, collecting from the chest. These give you the wood textured shards and you can exchange it in the souvenir store. There's so many goodies in there. You can't go wrong with many. But focus on getting the poles, the resource materials for a character ascension and weapon leveling. And the echo tuning stuff is pretty good too before anything else. This goes without saying too much, but try to unlock as much of the world as possible. You can easily teleport to your bosses, to enemies, to tacit asset field cleanups. So yeah, grind your world. After doing multiple world quests and opening chests, clearing beacons, you get to go to the Pioneer Association and collect some goodies and some include a nifty portable teleport point that you can craft and take with you so you can TP to anywhere you want fast. Give all your resonance caskets to your relic merchant as fast as possible. This will help you get your main character's wave bands as well as other goodies too. Whenever you collect resonance caskets, make sure you mark it on the map. So you don't forget where you collected these as you want to use online map in the future which you should be using. I use a site called weathering.gg forward slash map. I'll link it in the description for any of you guys that want to use. Choose one character to give your all to. This could be daunting, but the sooner you pick, the more you can save on resources. Recommend trying all the characters you have in their respective trials to see which one you like the most. I recommend also having a healer on your team. Want a healer? Want an attacker? On you, you want you know sub DPS whatever. So, your healer, you should definitely have one on your team so you don't waste time on cooking, nor going to a wave point. Get it? Wave point. No, I just mean, you know, the teleport points which heal you, and it just saves you reason. You can jump really high with this one mechanical trick. Basically, what you want to do is jump. And once you reach the apex of the jump, you plunge. After the plunge, just start you dodge then plunge again and as soon as you start the plunge animation use the grapple so you can cancel the animation and jump even higher it'll give you a bunch of heights just like this to help you with your traverse okay now for some bonus tip clear your milestone this is like a mini guide to progress building your account entirely it's really easy you clear your missions clear your quests speaking of missions and quests I mean, clear your actual missions and quests too. This gives the most experience in the game to level your union level quicker. And that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you like this video, subscribe to the channel, to stay in the algorithm so you guys can see more Golden Waves content from me. See you guys in the next one very soon. Bye-bye.